Quack talk. Quack talk. I'm here at the point. Uh, let's talk to some people. Come along. I'm here with uh, Joey from Clear for Takeoff. How are you doing, Joe? Well. Well. How are you? How do you like the point? It's grand. It's very um, sharp. Sharp. There you have it. Let's talk to this lady here. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Oh, no. Is, uh, is it true your name is Stephanie? Yes. And do uh, you hold the shows here? Yes. Is that fun? A little bit. Can you tell us a little about shows at the point? They're fun. There's cool rooms. Do you like the rooms? Would you also call things neat? <laughs> Maybe. What are some of the bands playing tonight? There's Me and This Army, The Baby Grand, and The Alchemists. You should check them out. You might like them. Maybe. You, you probably like them. There you have it. Let's go talk to some other people. Excuse me, Steve? <laughs> Steve. Yes. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I hear you're the big man on campus. Could you talk about that? No, I'm not the big man on campus. Campus of what? My massage therapist. Lies. So what is it you do here? I hang out for free. That's interesting. I heard you like clothing. prepared for this. <laughs> this is what you call an on-air breakdown, ladies and gentlemen. Steve, I'd like to thank you today for this <laughs> breakdown. Hey, no problem, man. Anytime. That's all the time we have for now. Uh, let's go talk to some other people. Thanks again, Steve. No, you're welcome. I am here with Monique. What, what is your clothing company? It's called Tuned In. And uh, what does this Tuned In mean? Um, basically, it's me and my best friend who lives in L.A. right now, used to live in Florida. We're just like, let's start a clothing company because she sells merch for a living. I design for a living. Perfect match. So we're just trying to fill in the gap of, you know, between fans and bands with our clothes. If you had one word to describe your clothing, what would it be? My business card says awesome, so I'm going to go with awesome. There you have it. Tuned in clothing. Awesome. Thanks again, Monique. Thank you. Let's go talk to some other people. <laughs> Hello, I'm Randy Rickenbacher. This is Quack Talk, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to our show today. We're talking with Courtney from Me and This Army. How are you doing, Courtney? I'm doing well, how are you? Randy. How long has Me and This Army been around? Well, it started out like an acoustic project in like 2007 when I was in college, and then I came home like 2010 and got a full band. So like I guess like three years, but technically since July. Since July. Yeah, and it's like it's like March now. So like what? I don't know how many months that is. Put on the spot. Like seven months, eight months, maybe. Did you major in mathematics? Definitely not. Interesting. If you were a teddy bear, would you let many people squeeze you? <laughs> um, depends what I would say when they squeezed me. If it was something enjoyable. Or it depends who's squeezing me too, right? Like, I don't know, some people, you know, if you've seen certain people make lemonade, you're like, oh, I don't want them touching if I were a lemon. So same, I guess, would apply to a teddy bear, even though it's soft and cuddly. In real life, too. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with the laundry detergent you use? Um, I, it might have to do something with it. I don't. I don't know exactly, but uh, probably snuggles. Right? He's really soft and cuddly, right? 
That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Mark Lamartina from Clay for Takeoff. Do you know this this man? Yeah, I've seen him play you know, a few times. He's a cute guy. He's very nice. Handsome. He seems to really like Queen. Do you have, can you comment on that? Um not really. <laughs> I didn't know that he loved Love Queen. But I mean Freddie He Mar- love loves Queen. Like I don't know. I love Freddie Mercury and Queen. Fat bottom girls, like come on. Makes this rock and roll go around. Well said. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end on that note. <laughs> Thanks again, Courtney. No problem. Thanks for having me. This has been Quack Talk. Talk. See you next time. Hello, and I'm here with John from Me and This Army. How are you doing, John? I'm good. Did you know that you're freakishly much taller than me? Uh, about, like, not that much taller. I'm, like, a foot, I guess. Is there a lot of vegetable in your diet yeah it's got an orange right here yeah that's all i eat that's how we do it on quack talk (laughs) and water so you've been playing with me and this army for how long a few months i think i think you think yeah probably like five or six maybe less or give or take i guess i don't know i have a few other bands too uh, a few other bands. Neat. As a drummer, you like to play on ceiling tiles, skateboards. Which, can you can you comment on that? <laughs> the ceiling tiles was all the way back, probably from Fletcher's, wasn't it? It was a while ago. Um, I don't know. I like I like using things that aren't drums because I think drums are boring, and I don't, I don't really like drums. If I let you drum on me, would you drum on me? Maybe. Maybe. With what? (laughs) Please fill in the blank. (laughs) Last night was the first time I blank. I don't know. Last night I just, I stayed up crying on the phone. I don't know. Last, uh, last night is the first night I stopped caring about something, probably. Did I just hit a very sensitive subject? Nah. No, it's not sensitive anymore. It used to be. But I stopped caring, so <laughs> it's not sensitive anymore. If I let you drum on me, would that make you feel better? I don't know. <laughs> are, you, are you telling me I'm not your type to drum on? I don't think I don't really date white guys. <laughs> this has been Quack Talk. <laughs> Thanks for talking today. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, and I'm here with Nick from Me and This Army. How are you doing, Nick? Very well, thank you. So you play the bass, is that correct? Yes, it is. And how long have you been playing with Me and This Army? Uh, for almost a year now. It's interesting. Now, as a bass player, do you play the bass, or are you much more fond of slapping the bass? Oh, I mean, slap bass is great. It's fun to play, but it doesn't really fit in uh, in this army style music, you know? I'm not up here to be less Claypool or anything, you know? More about, you know, making the song sound good than myself. If you were a bass guitar, would you let someone slap you? Depends who it was. Depends who it was. Or who it is. Proper English. Now, I see you're wearing plaid today. Yes. Can you comment on that? Um, it's nice, you know. It's a, you know, kind of cool. I had a jacket, but I got a little too hot. The plaid is nice. It's flannel plaid, you know, so you get the warmth and the style. Factor. It's quite warm, wouldn't you say? Yeah, very warm. If there is one member in uh, me and this army that you give a high five to the, the most frequently, who would it be? Uh, 
Gonna have to go uh, with uh, Courtney and John. I mean, we give a lot of high fives at practice usually, you know. We really do. It's like the triple high five deal, kind of. Because the way we stand up, you know, it's like someone will come up with someone will do some kind of cool fill or just something that doesn't really, that's not in the normal layout of the song. And we're just like, oh, that was awesome. Bam, you know. So I can't really pick one or the other on that one. So let me get this correct. You wear plaid. You give high fives. Are you trying to bring back something from the 90s? No, not really, but, you know, if so, that's all good. I don't really care. <laughs> the 90s were cool. And some good music. Okay, thanks again, Nick, for talking today. No problem. This has been Quack Talk. We'll see you next time. I prefer Kleenex Cottonelle brand. What do you prefer? I think the same. It's good. Not picky. If you were a bird, would you fly all the way to Mordor instead of walk there? Where's that? It depends. If it's close, I'll walk. You know, if it's far away, I'll fly. We're talking about the Lord of the Rings here. I've never seen him. This interview is over. <laughs> Quack talk. Quack talk. Yo, what's up, Clifford Takeoff? It's Justin Bieber here. I just want to say I really like that episode of Quack Talk, and you guys should definitely make more. All right, peace out. Baby.